everyone you guys, how are you? It is Monday, it is me, it's Emma, Body Blitz Fitness. It's never miss a Monday, it's the Hope and Chat. Now, I might have confused some of you this morning because I've gone live earlier than normal, about an hour earlier. I'm all ahead of my schedule, so I hope you're not going to miss this. Are you ready? The hoop is going on, so I've stepped into my hoop. I'm placing the hoop on my lower back. My core muscles are woken up, doing up an imaginary zip and belly button knitting. I'm going to put my left leg forward because I'm going to go left today. I'm going to keep my hoop on my lower back, look. I'm going to turn it to the right and then launch. Boom, off we go. I'm going to put a little timer on because the porridge is on the hob cooking. And hopefully I won't burn it. Are you good? How are you this morning? I hope you are feeling fantastic. Are you ready for whatever the week throws at you? Are you like, yeah, bring it on? Or are you all like, oh God, it's Monday. This is Motivational Monday. We are going to do it. Mondays are fantastic. I love a routine. And do you know what? As human beings, we do. We really work well with routine. So you know like if you have children, it's really important to give them a bedtime routine and the children behave better, etc, etc. As adults, we're no different. We're just big kids. The only difference is we can do exactly what we want. We can eat what we want. We can go to bed whatever time we want. And for a lot of us, that's our undoing. So actually sticking to a routine is actually so much better. You know, like when you say to the kids, no, no, you're, you've got your dinner here, you don't need to snack or whatever. Try and implement that on ourselves as, you know, adults. You know, eating our main meals, getting our deck exercise, not spending too much time in front of the screen, moving, going to bed and getting up at the same time. All those things are actually really important. So as a kid, we were like, oh, I can't wait to be an adult and do what I want. Actually, when we turn into an adult, we do too much of what we want and it all goes a bit wrong. <laughs> So if you are a woman watching me today, um, and to be honest, I, I talk a, a lot about perimenopause and menopausal women because I started being perimenopausal at like 34 years old. So it can start happening in your 30s. I mean, to be fair, that was a bit early, but it can happen. I think what I'm going to say is really about any woman, just when you're in your 20s, you just don't care really. You don't really think about it. I'm not being funny. You don't. You know, if I was in my 20s and some 52-year-old bird was talking to me, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever, <laughs> oldie. You know, if I'm honest, I probably would be. But seriously, for my, for my ladies, for my girls, if you are struggling at all with your hormones, which to be fair, think about it, you can be struggling with your hormones from being a teenage girl, we want to try and balance them out. And when I say balance them out, you're like, can you balance your hormones? What you can do is you can give them a fighting chance. You can have less stress in your life. You can cause less cortisol raising, and when, which when we're younger, I guess we deal with these things so much better. But when we start getting to like our thirties, our forties, our fifties, and beyond, we, our bodies don't because our hormones are up and down like a yo-yo. You've got some more of this and some less of that. Some of them are declining, some of them are peaking. It's all over the place, and it really massively affects your body. It affects your mind. It affects how you view things, how you see things, how you feel about things. And it affects you physically. It might be you feel like your crutch is going to fall out. You know, and these are things that no one really talks about, but they should. Because, you know, us women, we go through so much in life. We're like, we're amazing. But God, do we go through it. And I think women supporting women is so important. Now, if any of the guys are watching this today, this isn't just about the girls, guys. You know, a lot of you, you've got women in your lives you know, you've got mums, you might have wives, you might have girlfriends, you might have sisters, you might have aunties, you might have nieces. So it's really important that you kind of know about this as well. So if you're a guy watching this thinking, oh God, seriously, it might actually help you understand what's going on with the women around you a little bit more. So, things to think about, some top tips for you today. When you're in your sort of late 30s, 40s, 50s, you can't get away with doing what you did in your 20s. Now, that doesn't mean, oh God, that's it, it's all over. It just means you adapt, you change. I think it's, you actually get a bit smarter. So you train smarter, you eat smarter, and you drink smart. That's all, because you've got a little bit more knowledge. You've got a bit more experience, and you now know what you're doing. So don't look at it, oh God, I'm an old fart, I can't do it anymore. It's not at all. It's just use that experience, we are gonna be smarter. And training smarter is so important. Who wants to go and kill themselves doing hours and hours of cardio and like just dying? No. If you want to do your cardio, go out of a really good walk every single day in the fresh air, in the daylight. Great for your mental health. Great for your bone loading. 
just really, really good for your cardiovascular fitness. And then what about the rest of the time? How about we prioritise doing our weighted workouts so our bones are nice and strong. We've got our muscles, tendons and ligaments. Our bodies can do what they're supposed to do. We can burn off that energy that we're consuming with eating. And our bodies stay fit for purpose. They actually work for longer. And also kind of nice if we look a bit fit at the same time. You know, so training smarter, eating smarter, drinking smarter. Really important. Right, I need to stop, change direction. Ready? I'm going to catch my hoop. If you're new to hooping, only hoop for a couple of minutes each side a day at the most, maybe even every other day so you don't get hoops up. And you must hoop both sides, all right? Off we go. So I said to you about training smarter. What about drinking smarter? If you really like a good old alcoholic beverage, you might have found that you don't cope with it quite so well. And that's just because as we do get older and our body is under more pressure, more stress, for example, your liver, is trying to work out how to metabolise these hormones that are up and down and peaking and troughing. When you then add alcohol into the mix as well, I think I just sort out, or caffeine, or uh, lots of sugar, our liver is under a lot of pressure to try and get rid of that for you. So you find it doesn't work so much, so hangovers might become hangovers from hell. Whereas you might have gone out and had a skimful, got over it by the next day, as you get older, you find that that hangover might even last a week. You might feel like you've poisoned yourself. And I know it sounds awful, but that's because you actually have. Now, don't panic. I'm not going to go, never drink alcohol again. Although, to be fair, if you could manage not to, you'd feel a lot better for it. But obviously, we're only human. It's like you telling me not to eat chocolate ever again. I know I'd feel better if I didn't, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to eat it. Moderation is key. That's the main thing. And then if you have no moderation, number one, you need to learn some. But number two, you need to do things to help yourself. You know, like afterwards. Um, do any of you drink kombucha? I've started drinking kombucha. Bloody love the stuff. Highly recommend Booyah Vitality. They're a local family-run business in Hastings. And I've started drinking kombucha. Now, I don't really drink alcohol anyway. But those of you who've got into a habit of sitting down in the evening with a glass of wine or something, try and knock that on the head. Swap it out for your glass of kombucha. Put it in a nice wine glass. Trick yourself. Fabulous for your gut health. There's um, one with moringa leaf. It's got more vitamin C than all your oranges in the world. Well, maybe not all the oranges in the world, but it'll give you a really good boost. And especially if you have had a bit of a heavy weekend, which again, I'm not promoting, but if you have, get your kombucha down here, help sort your poor little bodies out. Yeah, get a bit of a detoxifier, boost your immune system and sort out your gut health. It'll help a lot. If you want to know any more about that, let me know and I'll, get, I'll link you to um, Booyah Vitality. What else? What else? Eating. Really simple. Everyone's like, oh God, midsection weight gain. Yes, midsection weight gain can happen. Of course it can. I'm not stupid. It happened to me. I'm normally more of a pear shape. Smaller waist, bigger hips. And suddenly, I suddenly had this midsection stuff going. I was like, what the hell is this? Are you kidding me? Just little tweaks. You don't have to cut out any food group. Anyone who tells you have is full of poo. You don't have to go keto, although lots of people swear by it. I believe in a really nice balanced diet of eating your proteins, your fats, your carbohydrates. There's just better ways of doing it, that's all. And if you want help with any of that, come and join me, I'll help you. Um, I run MenoFit. MenoFit is probably, I'm gonna be honest, like it's the best thing I've ever done really. It's a women's health and wellness like course. We do 15 minute exercise a day, because nearly everyone can fit in 15 minutes. I do nutrition, healthy habits and behaviours. So there's lots and lots of things. I'm talking to you, you watch these regularly, give you loads of top tips anyway. But if you want a little bit more, sometimes you need that bit more help. Come and join me, I would love to help you. You can hear, I'm very honest about things. I'm very no nonsense. I'm not like, oh, you have to be perfect 24 seven. Cool, wouldn't it be great if we could? I'm not, I'm good or better or stick to my goals most of the time, but I still don't all the time. And if my husband yesterday happened to bring me back a sharing bag of Terry's chocolate orange segments, would I eat the whole packet? I might have done. Do I regret it? Probably would have been better if I ate half. Did I? No, I ate the whole thing. But it's done now. So the rest of the week, I'll just make sure that my total amount of calories that I consume over the entire week won't be as bad. I'll eat more nutritious food. I'll work on my, my um, hydration. 
but I'm not going to beat myself up. I ate them and I enjoyed them. I really enjoyed every single one of them, actually. Would have been better if I hadn't, because as well, all those sugars, it's not great for your gut health, and it's very aging as well, you know? This is why I look like this, and really I'm only 20, no, I'm joking. Um, right, I'm going to stop talking, because I bet that porridge is cooked. The Daily Challenge, I hope you're doing that with me. So It's not all just about you paying me money. The Daily Challenge is free. This hoop and chat is free. But if you want to invest in your health, I would love to help you. So please let me know if you want any more information about anything. There's so many different ways you can join me. Do the Daily Challenge. We're on a one-minute wall sit. Amazing how hard that is. Uh, if you want to talk to me about anything or you want to join me for a class, I've got two more classes today. I've got a face-to-face -face class, which is Kettlebells in the Park. So if you live near me, that's at 515 and that's in Broomfield Park. And then there's Core Killer, and that's online at 10 past six uh, via Zoom. So if you want to join me for either, let me know, and I'll sort you out a link to join me. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye, Instacrew. Oh, no. Oh, the signal dropped out. Are you all okay? I hope you are. If you've got any questions you want to talk to me, stick it in the comments. I'll read them after I've eaten the porridge, and I'll see you soon. Have the best Monday. Bye, guys.